out to man the wall for thousands of years. And you are a Stark. You might not have my name, but you have my blood. There has been a lot of talk about the Stark line dying out. The name returning to the dust. How Stark being nothing but a memory, fading from history over time. This is not unheard of in a world of ice and fire or in Westeros. This has happened before. Houses have died out. It just has, it's just a thing, like it happens. Houses Greenwood, Towers, Amber, Frost, none survive today as more than names in dusty old books. People are theorizing that House Stark will end up like House Bolton. Your words will disappear. Your house will disappear. Your name will disappear. All memory of you will disappear. But I disagree. Who do you think will carry on the Stark line? Who will fly the Stark banners into battle in the wars after the wars to come? So on the TV show Game of Thrones, currently we have Jon Snow, Sansa Stark, Arya Stark, and Bran Stark. But who could potentially produce a Stark heir? Sansa is a Bolton. I take this man. John is a Targaryen. His name is Aegon Targaryen. Arya is no one. Finally, a girl is no one. And Bran is the Three Eyed Raven. I'm the Three Eyed Raven now. So winter is here, and things aren't really looking up for House Stark. But Ned Stark says the winters are hard. The Starks will endure. They always have. So let's figure out who's gonna carry on the Stark name. Arya is no one. She drank the drink of the many-faced god, and now she's a faceless assassin. I personally cannot see Arya carrying on the name of House Stark by having children or being married. You will marry a high lord and rule this castle. And your sons shall be knights. And princes and lords. Mm -hmm. No. That's not me. Arya is a lot younger when she says this, but has she changed that much? Has she changed so much to where she would have children and a husband now? I'm not sure. But we also have to look at all of the comparisons between Arya and Lyanna. Ned says that Arya reminds him of Lyanna. So at some point, Lyanna was like Arya. She didn't want to have any kids. She wanted to wield a sword and, and be a mystery knight and all of those things, ride in tourneys and be a knight and all that stuff. Lyanna wanted that like Arya wanted that when she had that conversation with Ned. But we do know that Lyanna went on to have a child and to actually be in love with Rhaegar Targaryen. So it's possible for Arya, it's possible, but I mean, I don't know, has she really changed that much? I mean, could you imagine if Arya was to marry someone and the, her husband telling her to make him a sandwich? The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. Well, if Arya was to marry anyone in the story, I can see her most likely to marry Gendry. But then Gendry is a bastard and Arya is a highborn lady, so something would need to happen. Gendry would need to be legitimized and made a Baratheon, and this complicates things for Daenerys, Jon, and Cersei, because those are the three potential people that could legitimize him. Maybe if Gendry was to give up any claim to the throne, I could see this happening, Gendry being legitimized. Arya marrying Gendry and Arya becoming a Baratheon. Robert always wanted to join the houses Stark and Baratheon. If your sister had lived, would have been bound by blood. Well, it's not too late. I have a son, you have a daughter. We'll join our houses. Different son, different daughter, but the same outcome. The houses are joined, Baratheon and Stark. However, this wouldn't help the Stark line unless they agreed to name their heir Stark, or if they had a second son, they would name him something something Stark. But that's a real long shot. Then, if we move on from Arya, then, then we have Bran, the Three-Eyed Raven. 
Bran is the true heir to Winterfell, but he has no interest in Winterfell or his birthright. I always thought or hoped that Bran and Mira would make Cranning Man, Greenseer, Stark babies, but Bran kind of shot that down. He shot my hopes down last season, and I think he shot Mira's hopes as well. You don't need me anymore. No, I don't. That's all you've got to say. Also, if Bran really is the Three-Eyed Raven and the last Green Seer, if we look at Blood Raven or Brendan Rivers, Brendan Rivers never had any children that we know of either, so it's, it's not looking good for Bran. But you would think that they would want to pass this extra special Green Seer blood on, but then again, Green Seers are made differently, and it's like one in 1,000 of one in 1,000. Like, that's the odds of someone becoming a Green Seer. If Bran could get it together and produce an heir, giving Bran's weirdness, like, I doubt Bran will be the one to carry on the Stark name. No one's giving him anything. No one's giving him any play. Anyway, the best two candidates to carry on the Stark line are Jon and Sansa. Let's break it down. John is definitely Rhaegar's son, but he is also Lyanna's son. He is a Stark and a Targaryen. John is definitely going to have that Theon moment. You don't need to choose. You're a Greyjoy. And you're a Stark. These words that John spoke to Theon are gonna come into play with John so much next season because John is a Stark and he is a Targaryen. But so so it's kind of up in the air as to what name John will claim, Stark or Targaryen, or if John will invent a junior branch of House Stark and Targaryen, like Tar Stark or Stark Garion. We already have had a situation like this happen before with House Karstark. The Karstarks descend from Carlin Stark, a younger son of Winterfell, possibly around 700 BC. Carlin put down a rebel lord and was granted lands for his valor. The castle he built near the Great Cliffs was named Carl's Hold, but that soon became Carhold. And over the centuries, the Carhold Starks became the Car Starks. So John could make a junior branch or he could claim House Stark, but there's also the chance that he could claim House Targaryen. I lean more towards John being a Stark. During the War of Five Kings, Rob Stark legitimized John. He made him a Stark and named him his heir. This letter is still floating around out there somewhere, and this letter may come into play. Also, John always wanted to be a Stark. Kneel before me, lay your sword at my feet, pledge me your service, and you'll rise again as John Stark, Lord of Winterfell. We'll make you a Stark with the stroke of a pen. It's the first thing I ever remember wanting. So John has no ties to the name Targaryen or to House Targaryen or to any of the Targaryen ancestry that he has. And I can't see him choosing to take the Targaryen name over Stark. He's going to have to be a Stark in order to marry Daenerys. A Snow cannot marry a queen of a great house. This marriage of Jon Stark and Daenerys Targaryen would ultimately fulfill the Pact of Ice and Fire between Kragen Stark and Rhaenyra Targaryen. This pact was formed during the Dance of Dragons. A part of this pact that was never fulfilled was that a Targaryen princess would marry into Kragen Stark's family. So this would fit perfectly. Any child they have could carry a standard like Joffrey's. Joffrey was Joffrey of the House Baratheon and Lannister. Let it be known that Marjorie of House Tyrell, Joffrey of the Houses Lannister and Baratheon. Joffrey carries the lion and the stag banner, half Lannister, half Baratheon, which is probably what would happen with Daenerys and Jon's child. Daenerys and Jon's child would probably carry a banner with half Targaryen, half Stark. 
So John is a huge candidate to carry on the Stark name, but I think Sansa is equally capable to carry on the Stark name, should John choose for some weird ass reason to be a Targaryen. Sansa has had two marriages. And Lady Sansa is a Bolton. Where's she Lannister? I've heard conflicting reports. Sansa would technically be a Bolton. She wasn't forced to marry Ramsay Bolton. She didn't know he was a monster, but she willingly went to Winterfell and married him. And the marriage was consummated. But then it's hard to say if that marriage is legit because she was technically married to Tyrion at the time, even though that marriage was unconsummated, which kind of makes it not a marriage at all. She's either a Bolton or a Lannister, but she has a different outlook on the whole thing and I kind of agree with her. I'm a Stark, I will always be a Stark. So Sansa has been through a lot. Ramsay was a monster, Joffrey was a monster, but Ramsay physically and mentally damaged Sansa. I can still feel it. I don't mean in my tender heart, it still pains me so I can still feel what he did in my body standing here right now. I'm not sure she will want anyone to ever physically touch her in an intimate way again. And whatever he did to her, depending on what that was, could have caused internal damage and that could also complicate things, which is really sad. And I hope that's not the case because I see Sansa as a viable person to produce an heir for House Stark. In the Game of Thrones world, if Sansa becomes Lady of Winterfell, the Wardeness of the North, then it wouldn't matter who Sansa married. The child would take the name of the mother because the mother is the ruler. So if Sansa is Lady of Winterfell ruling in the North and she has a kid, her kid will be a Stark. There's an example of this already in the North. Mage Mormont is Gior Mormont's sister and Ser Jorah's aunt. When Jorah went into exile, she became Lady of Bear Island and she was the ruler of Bear Island. All of her children have her last name. The baby bear we love so much is her daughter and she bears the last name Mormont. This is how these houses have been able to last this long and keep their names alive. But wouldn't it be cool if Sansa was the one that continues the Stark name? She's done so much that was against her family that's made people dislike her. She, she, she wasn't for her family in the beginning and she was very eager to trade in her name for Joffrey's and to become queen. How would Sansa being the one to carry on the Stark name, Sansa being the one to carry on her family's legacy and dynasty, that would be like a hell of a redemption for her. But what do you think? Who will carry on the Stark name or could it die out? I don't think it's gonna die out. Someone will carry on the name, but I'm curious to know what you think. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks to everyone that supports me on Patreon. I appreciate it. I can't thank you enough. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please click that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and join the sweet summer family. Okay, my sweet summer children. Have a good day.